So, um, hello, Shin. Ich bin äh, Adam Fletcher, äh, ich wohne seit fünf Jahren hier in Deutschland und äh, heute lese ich von meinem ähm, ähm, neuen Buch, äh, wie man Deutscher wird in 50 einfachen Schritten. Um, the book is dual language, so it's 50 steps uh, in German and then 50 steps in English. So today I will read uh, one step in English and then another step in German and so weiter. So, um, how to be German, step 32, Fenster auf Kipp. There is a widespread belief in South Korea that sleeping in a closed room while a fan is on can cause death. Fan death, it's imaginatively called. While scientifically possible, it's about as probable as winning every lottery on earth all at once whilst being struck by lightning. Germans have their own version of fan death because internationally, we've all praised German builders and engineers so much Many Germans have come to believe that they're not so much building apartments and homes, but rather airtight fortresses. As a result, many Germans believe, as Stickungstod, death by suffocation is a serious concern if fresh air is not allowed to regularly circulate within their zwei Zimmer Wohnung. Therefore, German windows have been built with a special kip or tilt mode, leaving the window approximately 10% open, only in a fixed position. Even in the dead of winter, it's not uncommon to walk into a German's bedroom only to find the window kipped and the room cold enough to freeze meat. If not kipped, then regular Stoßluftung or rush airing is required. This is when you open the window fully, but for a short time, allowing cold air to flood in and attack the evil, stale, warm air. This also explains why Germans are deeply distrustful of air conditioners, which just sit around mocking them churning out old, recycled carbon dioxide. The love of kipping can be quite a problem for international relationships. From the 1st of October onwards, the English put their heating on full, then don't touch it again until late April. We're not used to a winter of Fenster auf Kipp. So we have to play a game of sort of heating tag with our German partners, in which we wait for them to go to sleep, then quietly close the window that they've had open the whole day, put the heating on full, and drift off into a warm, toasty slumber. By morning, however, the good times are over, as our spouses have awoken, surprised and thankful that they didn't suffocate during the night, turn the heating immediately off, and reopen the window again. Brr. Get used to that feeling, my little Auslander, for you're a kipper now. <laughs>